Now, I'm going to show you a brand new feature we've just added, which is really revolutionary called Boost Similarity. It says beta, but it just makes everything perfect and we're going to keep improving it going forward. What this does is normally when you try to clone your voice, whether it's in English or another language or whatever the case might be, even in cases of dubbing and that sort of thing, number one biggest issue is that your voice might not sound like you. In other words, pacing. Maybe you speak too fast or slightly slow. Maybe your voice sometimes does not have that type of pitch or tonality as maybe your radio jockey voice, right? And there's all these issues that which can come across where it doesn't sound like you. It sounds like a professional version of you, or it might sound like a boring version of you, whatever the case might be. In my particular case, I'll show you, sometimes my voice sounds like British when you do with other applications. I'll show you that example in just a bit. Sometimes it may not exactly sound like me or whatever the case might be. We fixed all that with boost similarity and it's in beta and it'll always keep getting better because we haven't factored in millions of different voices, but with the ones we've tested, it's just the best in the industry. Okay. And that also makes this one feature applicable to every single aspect of generating voices and audios and voiceovers within clonevoice.ai. That means it's the same thing for a podcast. We've implemented the same thing. We've integrated this into many areas within the application, which is going to make it really powerful, sometimes even automated. And so let me show you real time right now, the true power of this one feature with real live examples. I'm going to make this whole test completely transparent. What voices I'm cloning, what is the end result, multilingual, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so first things first, let me show you this audio that of mine that I'm cloning. Because see, sometimes, you know, I try to speak slowly. Sometimes I'm speaking like I'm doing a tutorial. Sometimes I'm more excited like I am right now, where I'm trying to uh, just show you my excitement. That's a little bit different tonality, right? So in this particular case, let me show you the actual original audio so you understand how it sounds like. Then, what I'll show you is how does the clone voice sound like within clone voice and how does a podcast sound like and that sort of thing. So first things, this is the voice. You see this Paul voice, October 2nd. Uh, this is the voice that I've generated. I just named it as such. Uh, let me play it right now. What if I told you the AI landscape from just last year is already ancient history? It's not an exaggeration. The pace of artificial intelligence is truly mind blowing. Think about it. Just a few short years ago, AI struggled with basic tasks. Today, all right, pretty clear, right? So let me actually show you Yasha's voice right now. Again, I'm going to play a little bit. This is the other one I'll be cloning, okay? Yeah, so now <clears throat> the way we look at this problem is like, okay, we first of all drive the conclusion that, okay, one. All right. So it's basically the title of this is called Yash Voice. Perfect. Correct. All right. So now what I'm going to do is very straightforward. Okay. I will go into um, clonevoice.ai. Okay. We'll go into choose instant. I will upload this file. Okay. These files that I'm trying to show you right now. So as you can see here, this is that Paul voice. This is the title of that. So I'll just name it Paul uh, YouTube stream voice. Okay. Example, because just so you know, I'm trying to show you this demo right here. So to simplify this and then um, I'll put gender and I'll language which one I cloned it and I'll clone the voice. Okay. So the same one I just showed you long. And now it's completed. Now let me do the same thing for Yasha's voice. Okay. The one I played earlier. All right. All right. So in this particular case, Yash voice perfect dot mp3. So again, we're starting from scratch. So I'm just going to say Yash YouTube stream demo. Okay. Or whatever it can be named it. Right. So then I have permission to use Yash's voice. I'll clone it. Cool. So you have Yash YouTube stream demo, Paul YouTube stream voice. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to my podcasts. Okay. Create new podcast. Okay. And you can do up to four speakers by the way, but bare minimum, you need two speakers. Okay. So select voice. I'm going to say again, right here, I'm going to go into system and I'm going to go to clone because I clone these voices. Correct. So you see, see here, Paul YouTube voice is just says right here. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select this voice. There we go. And then I'm going to do speaker two. Okay. There we go. I'm going to add Yash's voice here and let me go back into the clone. And then I'm going to add in his voice right here. So I'm, I'm going to name me Paul and I'm going to name him Yash. Correct. 
Uh, for example, I'm going to say Paul and Yash are arguing over the, you know, future productivity gains from AI. Uh, Paul is optimistic and Yash is pessimistic, um, mystic about this, uh, about AI. Okay. Let's just say something. This is two voices and click, uh, I have read and agreed and then click create podcast. So it'll not start doing its thing right now. Cool. It's generated it as you can see here, podcast preview and as Paul. All right, yes, let's dive in right in. So now I'm just going to copy this. I'll tell you why I'm copying this for later, all right? So I'll copy this right now. I just paste it into a notepad, okay? Like, so nothing really fancy. I'll just uh, also, um, I'll paste uh, Yash's uh, as well. You see, whoa, Paul, hold on to your horses there. And then I will uh, paste this as well, okay? This was basically Yash's text that the AI generated, okay? And this is for comparison purposes I wanted to show you. All right. So now we'll just generate this podcast. Okay. It's going to do its thing. It's doing its thing. So we start generating. Now, while it's generating, let me go to 11 Labs, which is basically the number one voice cloning platform in the world. A lot of our customers compare it to 11 Labs. So I wanted to kind of show you a real life example of how you can basically use cloning of 11 labs to create stuff. Okay. So basically 11 labs has something called uh, a studio here. So let's just go in and uh, click on the studio and then you have something called voices as well. Okay. And this is, I'm just doing this as comparison again, just be transparent. Maybe I don't go into all the settings. So if you folks know, maybe let me know again, I'm just trying to compare against the best company for voice cloning, right? We've been in there for like last few years, they've been working on it. So in here in 11 labs, they have something called create and clone voice. Okay. Again, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go instant voice clone. Okay. That's the only option that's available. So let me again, go back here. The professional voice clone at this point in time, it says no slots available. It's, it's not uh, available for me. Okay. So I'm just using it, uh, the instant voice clone option, the same one that's available, uh, within, um, uh, clone voice already correct. So I'll just go in here and I'm going to, um, click on this instant voice clone, and then I'm going to drag and drop each of their voices. So in this particular case, if you remember, Paul voice OCT2 was the one here. Uh, it pre-checked remove background noise. So I'm guessing that's good enough. So I'll just click next uh, here. And then um, it's going to start cloning this voice right now. And you can give it a name and stuff like that. So I'm just going to name it Paul stream voice. Okay. Whatever. But I'm just make, naming up something and then I'll click on the save thing here. Okay. And then you can start generating speech with it, but I'll also do another thing. I'll skip this right now. I'll also do Yash's voice. Again, instant voice. And I'm going to drag and drop Yash voice perfect here. If you remember, Yash voice perfect MP3. This one also actually had background audio and stuff too, correct? So click next. Um, and then we can start playing this. Uh, it's going to start cloning here and stuff like that. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to say Yash stream voice. Okay. Click save. All right. And I'll skip this. Now, what I wanted to kind of show you here is let's go to their studio here. Okay. Studio. Okay. And then um, let's go into studio here and then we'll click on blank project. Okay. And just see how these voices sound. Click next. It says audio project here. Let's go there. Again, you know, if there is any better settings, you can let me know. I'm just going by default settings. Okay. Same like how anybody would do it. And then, um, so, uh, there we go. And I'm going to say, uh, first will be Paul, uh, stream voice, the one I just added. Correct. So I'll just select this one. And then, um, it, it all, uh, like, let's say for now, I'll just keep everything default. And then remember I said, I'll do this, um, this, uh, script all right. Yes. Thing, whatever that basically that we generated the AI, uh, generated for us. And then let's just click on this play button that will generate this voice. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Let's just do that right now. It's going to take a few seconds. All right. So let's play it right here. How does it feel? How does it sound? All right, Yash, let's just dive right into it. I mean, everywhere you look, people are talking about AI. And for me, it's not just hype. It's genuinely the biggest productivity booster we've seen since, well, maybe electric. Now, you can let me know. Does that sound like me? Okay. So, okay. They do have, I believe, override settings here. So let's just try that. So maybe there's a reason why it doesn't sound. So click on that. 
Uh, it has volume, speed, faster, slow stability, and then similarity, okay? It boosts your overall clarity and similarity. Or so it's 75%, I'll make it 100%, okay? Fair enough. And uh, then what we will do is uh, we'll just re-apply uh, this. Select voice, it needs to be applied. I'll click on the apply button here. So it's been applied. There's also speaker boost, which I believe uh, it will be it will boost the similarity of the voice. Okay. Now click on again generate. All right. To be fair, sometimes you know when you're playing it on the browser, maybe there's some issues. So I'll go actually to export, and then you see a audio format, whatever. Let's click on export, and then it's gonna take a few seconds, I guess, to export. Let's play it in real time just to get an idea. Does it really sound like my voice or whatever it might be? Okay, there we go. The download is available. So let's just download this thing. There we go. Let's play it. All right, Yash, let's just dive right into it. I mean, everywhere you look, people are talking about AI. And for me, it's not just hype. It's genuinely the biggest productivity booster we've seen since, well, maybe electricity. Or All right, so now, well, sounds a little bit like me, I guess. You'll be the judge again. That's up to you to decide. Now, let me do the same thing with Yash. I'll do the same process and uh, let's just uh, try this out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the voice here and I'm going to say Yash's voice, which was Yash stream voice, I guess. This was the one. Again, uh, I will put similarity as default, which in the default was 75%. So we'll apply this and we'll just see uh, what the situation is right here. And I'm going to change the script here, okay? so that we can download this as well. All right, and you can compare uh, here. All right, so let's copy this and then right click the text that Yash will be speaking, I guess, in this case, and then just, just uh, play, uh, you know, generate this. Oh, Paul, hold your horses there. Electricity, the internet. I appreciate your optimism, I really do, but I think you're getting a little carried away. When I look at AI, I see a lot of promise, sure, but also a massive amount of overestimation, especially when it comes to actual... All right. Does that sound like Yash or not? You let me know. All right. Let me do the similarity thing again. So let's override the settings and put similarity equals high 100%, put everything, all the best settings, click apply, click again, generate so that we can download it. All right, so it's generated. So let me just export this thing as MP3 file so that we can do like for like comparison. Okay, uh, so it's just downloading right now. There we go, there it's downloaded. So let's compare right now because my generation is also finished here as you can see here, uh, the productivity error paradox. Let's compare like for like here, all right? Sentence by sentence. So this was basically without similarity being uh, fully on for 11 laps, by the way. All right, uh, so let me actually play that in right now and you can take a look at it. This is my voice. Welcome to Future Forward, everyone. Today, we're tackling a topic that's not just on the horizon. It's already here and reshaping everything, artificial intelligence. And I mean... Sounds like me, we're very Australian, right? Australian type of accent. So now let me show you the high similarity examples of mine and Yasha's as well, uh, while I play these uh, two, so you can take a quick look at it. And I uh, will play one after the other, so it's more natural. Okay, this is with similarity at 100%. All right, Yash, let's just dive right into it. I mean, everywhere you look, people are talking about AI. And for me, it's not just hype. It's genuinely the biggest productivity booster we've seen since, well, maybe electricity or the internet itself. Now let me play Yash's. Whoa, Paul, hold your horses there. Electricity, the internet. I appreciate your optimism, I really do. But I think you're getting a little carried away. When I look at AI, I see a lot of promise, sure, but also a massive amount of overestimation, especially when it comes to actual tangible productivity gains across the board. We're talking about real sustained growth, not just fancy demos. Now let's see clone voices, the same thing, right? This was the project we created, I downloaded it. Let's see the example. So you know real time, we're all we've done here and the accent, the modality, the tonality, and this is what we mean by that new high similarity feature. 
okay? Uh, which is pretty cool. You can make be the judge, okay? Even if it's equivalent to 11 laps, I'd say it's a big win, right? Because it's very expensive for platform with the recurring subscriptions and stuff. And it's the best. I've been doing it for many, like more than three years now plus, right? And just voice technology alone, which would be a great achievement by our team in that sense. All right, Yash, let's just dive right into it. I mean, everywhere you look, people are talking about AI. And for me, it's not just hype. It's genuinely the biggest productivity booster we've seen since, well, maybe electricity or the internet itself. Whoa, Paul, hold your horses there. Electricity? The internet. I appreciate your optimism. I really do. But I think you're getting a little carried away. When I look at AI, I see a lot of promise, sure but also a massive amount of overestimation, especially when it comes to actual tangible productivity gains across the board. We're talking about real sustained growth, not just fancy demos. You can do the same thing for Spanish, for example. Here is one uh, for Spanish that we've done here with my voice on it. Let's see. Again, with the dubbing feature, I'll talk about that as well as we go along. Uh, but check this out. Okay, so let me just play this. Chicos, de verdad, no entiendo cómo alguien puede mirar el avance de la inteligencia artificial y no sentir una emoción tremenda. Estamos en el umbral de una revolución que va a transformar cada aspecto de nuestras vidas para bien. Piensen en la medicina, en la... Pretty cool, right? So meaning I can sound with my English clone voice basically that way, which is like a fluent Spanish speaker. Those who understand Spanish, you can understand that, right? 